Well, good afternoon, friends. I'm still playing a little catch-up with Robert Henderson's 365 Prayers and Activations for Entering the Courts of Heaven. And I'm reading from uh, March 9th, and it's 2024. And the subject today for March 9th is the place of his feet. And the first scripture reference is from Isaiah 60 and 13. 60:13, and it reads as this. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you. The cypress, the pine, and the box tree together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Love it. This is what Robert has to say today about this topic, the place of his feet. The Lord calls the house of prayer he would build the place of his feet. This speaks of this house not only being his dwelling place, but also the place of his dominion. Feet in scripture almost always Speak of dominion. God told Joshua that every place his feet touched had been given to him as a possession. And that's from Joshua 1 and 3. Interesting, as soon as I read that, that's the first thought I had, was that scripture. I didn't remember exactly where it was, but I remembered the words about it. The house of prayer that God is building to stand in his courts is to possess for the Lord new territory. In places. It's our job to claim the realms of the earth for the purposes and passion of the Lord. As we stand before the Lord in the courts of heaven, our main purpose is to remove every illegal claim being asserted by the devil to rule nations and cultures. We are to set in place the claims of the Lord Jesus from his cross and from his resurrection as we get really close to Resurrection Day. Celebrate that. Through His grace, the Lord grants us the rights and privileges to stand before Him for the purpose of seeing His government and peace increased. And that is a scripture taken from Isaiah 9 and 7. This is the honor of, that the Lord extends to us. We, as His house of prayer, become the place of His feet that possesses all that Jesus died to reclaim. To reclaim. Jesus died to reclaim. So, this is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as we stand in your courts from the holy mountain of God, we thank you that we are the place of your feet. Lord, use us to extend the increase of your government and peace in the spirit realm. We want to see even the nations reflect the glory and the power of who you are. We desire to see all demonic claims over nations and cultures revoked and your claims established. Lord Jesus, would you allow us to stand in this holy place with you and see this done? Thank you for the privilege of this. Do in us what is necessary for this to happen. Amen. And that would be along the lines of my prayer today, that the Lord would do in us what is necessary to allow this to happen. Lord, do in us what's necessary to allow those places to be reclaimed and taken back what the enemy has stolen and continues to steal. Lord, show us what to do and how to pray to reclaim any legal access that the enemy has in his uh, arsenal that's being used against us, the culture, and the nations to keep us in bondage to the devil's wiles. Lead us, Lord, in your holiness, God. Guide us in your wisdom, Lord. Show us your ways, God. 
help us to make our path straight. We know that the road is narrow, God, and few find it, Lord. But we want to be the, amongst a few, Lord. So teach us and guide us, Lord. Make us and mold us. Trim us up, God, where we need trimming, even if that hurts a bit. Show us how to be more like you, Lord. And show us how our prayers can affect the courts of heaven to reclaim the cultures and nations. Your heart's desire, Lord. And let your heart's desire be our heart's desire, God. Help us hunger for you, God. More and more, God. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, it's good stuff. So I pray you go with that today and that uh, you're blessed. I love you. But he loves you just so, so much more. Know that. Know that deep in your spirit and your heart.